Hi everyone, last lesson for your weekend, lesson number five on effective annual interest rates. Um, just going to go back two lessons on reducing balance loans part three, just to explain to you what I'm, what we mean by effective annual interest. So in this example on page number five, remember how we calculated the same loan under different terms, quarterly, monthly, and fortnightly, and quarterly gave an interest amount of this monthly gave a lower amount of interest and fortnightly gave even a lower amount of interest because when you increase the frequency of payments you are effectively reducing the amount of interest that you need to pay so in that case if the amount of interest that you're paying under different payment plans um, give you different values then the amount of interest that you're paying or the percentage um, rate of interest is effectively not going to be this value. It's going to differ depending on which option you've chosen. So therefore leads us to today's lesson on effective annual interest rate, because when you change your frequency of payment, the interest changes and effectively the amount of interest as a percentage that you're paying per annum is going to be different. It varies. It's not going to be the 8.5% that was stated. You'd find that when you calculate it for the three, they're actually going to be slightly different. So um, let's begin on this lesson. So hopefully you would have printed out this um, PowerPoint slide. It's only two pages long, shortest of them all. And here is our effective annual interest rate formula. So Let's um, jot down what each of them mean. So our R is our effective annual interest rate, which is going to be given to you as a decimal. So to make it make sense, you are going to times whatever answer you get by a hundred to get it into a percentage. Okay. So you might, it might come out as 0 0.15, which actually means 15%. So remember that. Then we go one plus I. Now I is the nominal rate. So by nominal rate, it's the rate that has been stated. So for here, the nominal rate for this one would be 8.5. However, it's nominal rate um, as a decimal. So to get it into a decimal, you basically divide it by 100. So e.g. 8.5% um, the I is equal to 0 0.085. Does that make sense? Okay. So the I is a nominal rate as a decimal. So you don't just put the percentage straight in as its figure. The N and this is really confusing. There's two N's here. One is a power and one's what you're dividing by. Basically it's the number of periods per year. So once again, if it's monthly, N will be 12. If it's daily, N will be 365. If it's quarterly, N will be four. Okay, you get the gist. So um, it's not the kind of N that we were dealing with previously. This basically is just the number of periods per year. Okay, so yeah, I know it's really confusing, but that's that's how they want you to learn it. And then you just have to subtract it by one. So it's really easy. Let's go on to our um, example on the following page. So on page two, it says here, Jason decides to borrow money to, for a holiday. If a personal loan is taken over four years, so let's highlight some inf important information, four years with equal quarterly repayments, compounding, so we know we're doing a reducing balance loan at 12% per annum, so compounding, calculate the effective annual interest rate, correct to two decimal places. So um, whenever you see effective annual interest rate, just remember the formula that we just um, dealt with before. I'll pull that out so you can see. So we will write it out. R equals one plus I over N to the power of N minus one. So we want to find R, we're going to put in the I and the N. Our I 
remember it's the nominal rate as a decimal so at the moment it says 12 percent to convert it to a decimal we times it by 100 so i is 0 0.12 okay rate as a decimal and the n is going to be um, the number of payments um, per year okay so if it says quarterly then our n is equal to 4 isn't that confusing because previously we learned that n is years multiplied the number of periods per year but in this case you've got to remember that it's just it just means number of periods per year so that's why it's really good to have a very well written summary book outlining all these for you so we just pop it into the formula. Effective annual interest rate is equal to 1 plus 0 0.12 divided by 4, close brackets to the power of 4, minus 1. And make sure you input this properly in your CAS calculator. Once you've done that, hit enter and your answer should come out as 0 0.1255. Now remember that the annual interest rate in this formula will only give it to you as a decimal and you want it to make sense so you want it to convert into percentage so therefore you will multiply it by 100% so the rate is really 12.55% um, per annum okay so even though so what we're saying is that even though the um, terms is 12 percent per annum it said that the loan is at 12 percent per annum you're effectively paying 12.55 percent per annum under these conditions under the quarterly rep um, repayments we call cool? um, now that's just one example and if you're cool with that you can go ahead and do your exercise but I will um, take this opportunity to also just work out the effective annual interest rate um, of our lesson number three on page five for each of these and see what difference it actually makes. So I'll do it in red so you can see the difference. So for here, in this case, remember formula is R equals blah, blah. So we're just going to write it out. Um, or oh, let's just write it out. So R, the effective annual interest rate under this condition would be 1 plus the i, which is a nominal rate in decimal. The nominal rate in this case is 8.5%. Um, in decimal would be 0 0.085. Remember, we divide it by um, 100 to get the decimal. Then we go divide by n, which is the number of times, uh, number of periods per year. Quarterly means 4 to the power of 4 minus 1. And you should get an effective annual interest rate of 0 0.0877, which you will convert to 8.77% per annum. So that's for this um, example right here. And we can continue to work out the effective annual interest rate for the other two conditions using the same method. So R equals 1 plus 0 0.085, because that's the nominal rate, divided by monthly which is going to be 12 periods a year to the power of 12 minus 1 our effective annual interest rate is going to be 0 0.0883 which is effectively 8.83 percent per annum um, last example fortnightly so same same thing formula 1 plus the nominal rate divided by fortnightly 26 fortnights a year to the power of 26 minus 1 you get an answer um, what was the answer sorry let me just get my CAS okay um, 0 0.088566 so effectively the interest rate is 8.86 percent per annum so even though the question originally said that the rate is 8.5 percent per annum the effective rate that you're paying when you calculate it under these conditions are those answers that we got there hope you understand that guys um every odd question once again luckily for you i think there's only really seven questions to do for this exercise so good luck with that and email me if you need a hand enjoy your weekend see you on wednesday